Uh, I guess just start how spring ball going, kind of getting yourself integrated with the defense. Oh, man, it's going great, honestly. And just I'm loving how every day we come in to attack it, we come in to swarm, uh, be better than our next day. We're never satisfied with the day we had, so we're always trying to come more takeovers, more sacks, more TFLs, more fumble recoveries. And uh, I love the edge that we come to practice with every day, and uh, they make it an honor and a pleasure to come to work. Andre, you're lining up against an offensive line that's probably a little bit stylistically different. What have you seen from that? <laughs> uh, what I've seen uh, a lot differently this year is just really, honestly, the backs. The, the backs are a lot faster than what I thought they would be. Uh, the type of plays that we run are a lot more stretched out. So it's a pretty big difference from what I come from, as far as reading things. So I got to actually like play a lot faster, make sure my stance is a lot more getting off the ball type of stance. Uh, but honestly, it's great coming to work with those guys every day. They make me better. I'm making them better. It's going to be a great season. How long did some of that take to get used to? <laughs> I want to say, really, it, the uh, the offensive line and the defensive line kind of helped me out a ton, and like they kind of like forced me to like, yo, be on your stuff. So it didn't really take as long as it probably took some guys, but like it took a good minute. But when I got it, I got it. How have you kind of worked your way, like kind of within the room, the group of guys? Like how have you kind of built those relationships? Oh uh, man, honestly, just really coming to work every day. You know, just coming to work with good energy, great energy. Even when they're down, I gotta you know bring it up. When I'm down, they bring me up, and uh, that just make it a lot easier. And then just spend the time outside outside the field. You know, I'm an older guy, so being a leader, taking a young guy out to eat, and just sitting and kicking it with him and talking to him, asking him about his family and things. That's how we get closer and tighter. So you were at number one this year. Why did you pick that number? Uh, number one, I had when I was at Western Michigan as well. It's just always been in my life. Uh, my big brother Ali Fayed, he had number one at Western, and uh, he had Defensive Player of the Year. And I'm just basically re you know, reenacting that and just building a legacy with number one. Yes. How do you see yourself kind of fitting in with the defensive line, like positionally, like right. off the edge? Or, you know? So this is a lot different. You know, I put on like 40 pounds since I, you know been playing defensive end these last two years, so I'm like around 280 right now. And uh, I'm playing, I thought I would just be playing a lot of edge, but like I'm playing everywhere, up and down the line, nose, three tech, a zero, the end, a nine, Y10, like I'm playing everything up and down the line. I can play whatever. Yeah, how's that adjustment been? Just kind of learning those positions that maybe well, you hadn't played as much? Coming with, coming into the room that I'm in, the guys that I work with, they make it a lot easier to grasp the, like, the information and the technique and get it down. And then just me being a physical player, it makes everything like 10 times easier. What's your relationship look like with some of those other edge guys you're working with? Uh, Miles Jackson, Coach, uh, I mean, Linnell Carr, they come to work every day, you know what I'm saying? They, we comp constantly competing for sacks, so it's like just lions going after the gazelle every day in practice, and I'm trying to get more, they trying to get more, and uh, we all work with each other. We critique each other's uh, technique, hands, eye placement, hand placement, and things like that, and uh, just honestly working our moves to the best of our ability, and like what moves work for you might not work for me, and what moves work for me might not work for you, so we've been pretty good at bouncing moves off each other. So there's a lot of transfers kind of along the defensive line. Just what's that been like kind of gelling together? And uh, I guess what's kind of the mentality all coming in uh, to a new situation? Well, we got, like you said, we do have a lot of transfers coming in on the D-line and just defense in general. And um, it's been amazing. Like, the guys have been very welcoming, like making me feel like at home, a part of the brotherhood. And that's just been like making everything like 10 times easier for me with learning the plays, going through the playbook and things of that nature. Um, again, like I said, Philip Bleedy, me, Carl, like we all come in to work every day and that makes the other guys want to work and then they make us want to work even harder because we constantly competing. So it's just been great. Everything's been um, awesome, I can say. I can say. Awesome. Thanks, Andre. Thanks. Thanks.